right, so drinking aged urine again. This is uh, the sixth time in, I guess, uh, nine or ten days or something. I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out if we need to, but not really needed, I guess. So I just peed some fresh urine, and this was actually over half full. I already drank the what was in there just because it was, I only needed a small amount to mix with the aged urine. And this was... Um, the urine after I did this really good workout today so definitely tastes different not bad in any way a little more concentrated in one way or another but definitely not a bad taste because I still haven't eaten all day today it's uh, past 9 p.m. I'm actually gonna run to the store and get some things so it'll still be a little bit before I've actually eaten and one other thing to note and, th and that's what makes it a lot easier to deal with as far as as drinking as far you know um, if you eat and then drink the urine right after you eat it's going to be a whole different world as far as the concentration levels and what's in there and how it tastes especially and most of the time i, I don't really do anything unless i uh age it and use it for foot baths or or sometimes even flush it down the toilet you know like a norm like some of you people out there call you the normal people Someday you won't be normal though. Um, the urine that I've been uh, that I was using to um, uh, drink recently and, and use uh, I'm using other ways as far as you know on the skin and such um, has has turned darker. And like I mentioned, this was uh, kept tight for about ten months straight. So I think that's interesting because if you watch a past video, when I first opened that, it was a much lighter color like big time now it's it's really dark and and you notice that a lot with age urine it turns into when you age it for a long time it has this it's dark amber kind of looking um, almost like a a dark ale and so since this is the first time i've drank it since it turned dark i'm going to only add uh not that i'm afraid or anything but i'm just going to do a smaller amount and you know, there's no real reason to, so that's a, add a little bit more. No real reason to keep doing more and more, especially since I'm doing it on a consistent basis. But I think at one time I will, in the future, try a very large amount. And like my uh, friend did, he basically drank a gallon within an hour's time. Uh, four liters, however much that is, you know. But that's, that's crazy. I mean... Not crazy in in a stupid ways. Crazy that he was able to do it, you know. And not that I doubted it, but you know, it'd be of course be interesting to find out. Well, how do you feel after? And he said he felt great. Of course, he had a crazy bowel movement, and that's to be expected. It's like a reverse enema, and this stuff is really strong for that. And the amounts that I've been drinking has not caused me to later rush to the can. You know, I don't need. It, it hasn't affected me that way though I only eat once a day, but so does he. Um, so that's one thing to consider as well. So I don't need a thorough flushing as far as the uh, smaller amounts that I'm drinking. Okay, so I'll be able to get this a lot more watered down. But as I also mentioned, I just drank some urine as well. And so that'll be added to the overall what's in my, in my body right now. My stomach and you know uh, urine doesn't need to be digested you know just like like other stuff it's already been in your body it settles in and and, and your body responds to it and it feels good it doesn't you don't feel gross after unless you're going through the initial phases then that could happen you might feel a little bit uh, as far as needing to uh, use the bathroom and everything but that doesn't happen after you've been drinking urine for um, a few weeks or a few months at least or so and or done some fasting some urine fasting with it so got a fairly good sized glass there definitely very easy no problem at all it's darker i don't think there's anything any difference any you know there there obviously is some sort of difference but it'll be interesting to see why the color changed it's still fairly see-through. You know, it's not, you know, if you see some other people's age urine, you won't be able to see through the glass all the way like that. And like I mentioned before, this is from 
a uh, deep into a 20-day fast that I did last year about 10 months ago. So that is why it stays clear, even though the color changes, you know, as far as going from light to dark. So thanks for watching. That's the, uh, this will be, I guess that's part five, but since I drank the day before part one, you know, a half an ounce or whatever, this will be the sixth time in however many days, nine or ten days or something.